All right, music, welcome okay. back to Sister Circle Live. His voice is forever etched in the ears of music lovers worldwide, heading a family legacy laced with immense vocal talent. Mm. His vocal approach is unparalleled. Yes, and with decades of hits to his credit, like The Question Is mm -hmm. and Tomorrow. Yes, uh. And just don't want to know, he really needs no introduction. Please welcome down to the circle, <laughs> Lord Jesus, Pastor Marvin Winans. Yes. 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 How are you, Pastor? Excellent. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you for Good coming. Good morning. Good morning. Ooh. Have a seat. Have a seat. I think you're sharp, Pastor. Yes. Oh, no, I'm just trying to keep up, I, you know. My God, today. <laughs> you are sharp today. <laughs> Uh, now, we've had B.B. and C.C. Uh, down to don't, the circle. Yes. Don't hold that against me. <laughs> but B.B. actually said, I mean, I, I couldn't believe it, but he said there are human beings in this world that said that him and C.C. actually did not have the talent to start in this industry, which oh. I think is absolutely ridiculous, How because the whole family is lit, just Only the whole now. family. Yes. But wh when did you know personally that you had this gift, and who can you accredit the, the fostering of that gift? Uh, well, our parents. Um, mm -hmm. uh, my eldest brothers, David, uh, then Ronald, and Carvin, my twin, and, mm -hmm. and myself. Uh, my mother took us. Mm -hmm. I was around four years old, so my brother would have been four. Mm -hmm. And David was uh, eight, Ronald would have been six. And um, she had us sing. Our great grandfather was a pastor, so they, we had a convocation and, and we sang. Mm -hmm. And it was like after our father heard us sing with my mother, who mm -hmm. played the piano, mm -hmm. and we did a good job. Then he said, Oh, I'm taking it. Taking these guys, and then we became a quartet group. Okay. Yes. Uh, so my father was a quartet singer, and love, you know, was friends with Sam Cooke mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. all those people, and and uh, so that's what we started doing. Wow. And he uh, really taught us how to hear harmonies, mm -hmm. how to uh, you know sing together, and and you had to get your part right. Right. And, <laughs> and I felt right bad for Ronald because he he was always singing a little off. <laughs> So he had to stay down there after we went to bed, but um, but he really corralled us, and uh, and it was just the four of us. Mm -hmm. So then we retired at 12 years old. Oh said, wow! I'm done with this. Okay. And uh, Ronald and I just kept singing, and we formed different groups at our church, and um, at 12 I wrote my first song. Wow. And then, then it just went on from there. Wow. Yeah. Wow. But it, my parents really started us mm -hmm. with singing, and mm -hmm. then. We we grabbed Ronald. I mean, we grabbed BB and CC and the rest of them mm -hmm. and taught them how to sing. And we just wow. it, it just sang all the, whole the time. Family, yeah. yeah, yeah. Speaking of family, my family, the Braxtons. We yes. grew up listening to the Winans and yeah. singing the Winans. Oh no, getting our harmonies together too. <coughs> we got pop. We grew up together. Right, you know, <laughs> <laughs> but but music has changed. It's evolved, so to speak, uh, since we were growing up and singing gospel music. And there's a lot that people have to say with contemporary meeting traditionalism. But we all know when you guys did needed you back in the day. You guys mm -hmm. collaborated with George Duke, mm -hmm. and you know. But people don't know about that collaboration even way back then. What say you about the evolution of gospel? Gospel music. Mm. I turn think uh, there was there was a moment in history where gospel uh, had the opportunity to be as big as country in mm -hmm. Western and stand on its own. And and you know that's that's just the fault that I have with how they didn't understand where we were. Right. Mm -hmm. And um, so at that time, uh, the the ones that really went outside of the tradition uh, that understood the call was to reach the world, mm -hmm. uh, really influenced us. I remember walking into an Andre Crouch concert when I was uh, 14 years old and stood there and said, that's what I want to do mm. for the rest of my life. Wow. Um, and what was amazing is that even though his concert was in Detroit, he had 60 to 70 percent of a white audience, mm -hmm. which was strange. Wow. I was like, where mm -hmm. am I? Mm -hmm. But music, I, fast forwarding, uh, and which started the, the thought of the school, uh, the winings, we were in uh, Japan, in Tokyo, and sold the place out. And, you know, there was a particular time in our uh, show where we would ask the audience to come up and do the rap for uh, <laughs> his time. Mm -hmm. And so I'm like, I'm in Japan. Yeah, and this know. guy 
came up and said, okay, anybody know the rap? This guy came up with a, with a high top fade and, 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 and some red handkerchiefs in his back pocket. And he said, well, it's time to make that change. Oh, Did the whole man. thing <laughs> and then started rapping in <laughs> Japanese. It was at that moment that I said, wow, music has the ability to transcend culture yes. and language barriers and, and all kinds of yes. barriers. And speaking of transcending, you are uh, you're, you started pastoring 30 years ago. Talk to us about your 30 year anniversary yes. with your church. Congratulations. Who, who, knew, who knew that time could go so My fast? My God. Mm -hmm. What we started in, in 30 years ago, we uh, started a church with eight people. Mm -hmm. uh, Donnie McClurkin was one of them. Mm -hmm. yes. And um, then the school started, the Marvin L. Winans Academy of Performing Arts, mm. which is a public school academy. Mm -hmm. So uh, then the Amelia Agnes Transitional Home for Women, mm -hmm. because we discovered that women was the largest and fastest growing uh, transitional home folk homeless oh, uh, yes. population, mm -hmm. and then just kept going. So it doesn't even seem like it's been 30 years, mm. and uh, time has gone so fast. Well, Marvin, we thank you so much for joining us, yes. and congratulations on the 30-year anniversary of your thank church. You. And if you're staying with us, you'll see, you'll, we'll hear more from Marvin in the next segment. But if not, thank you so much for having us, and stick around. Thank you. Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. We are still here. And we're still <laughs> spending time with gospel legend Pastor Marvin Winans. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. We have to bring it down to the table. <laughs> um, <laughs> Pastor Winans, so you've worked with several icons, Whitney Houston, Stevie Wonder, Michael Jackson. My question is, and, and even in collaborating with secular artists, do you feel, and, and how the, the, the new gospel kind of sort of has evolved, do you feel that the message of the gospel has lost any of its authenticity or power, uh, you know, so to speak, with the evolution of how gospel is now being portrayed? I, I think that uh, it has in mm. some ways. Mm. Uh, it is up to the artist, though. It is up to the songwriter. It is up to the lyricist and the composer to make sure the elements of the gospel is there. Mm -hmm. What is the gospel? The gospel is the death, burial, resurrection of Jesus Christ. Yes. Uh, and, and, and the gospel is not limited to a church or to a church experience. The gospel involves life. So what we tried to do as writers, what I tried to do is say, now how does God to relate <laughs> to this situation I'm in right now, mm -hmm. okay? And out of that, songs came. Uh, one of the songs we did, just look up, tomorrow come, mm -hmm. we'll let you know your life's not done, just look around, love's pouring down. All right, now, yeah, all right. Mm -hmm. Now, what that came from was my brother-in-law was killed. Mm -hmm. And um, uh, Vicky comes from a family of 12, and he <laughs> was, worked for the city of Detroit, it, it made no sense. Mm -hmm. They found him in the alley, mm -hmm. his wallet was still, it just, and it would just shock everyone, how could this happen? And so I said, okay, Lord, how, what is this about? Mm -hmm. And the answer I got through the song was, some things we don't have answers for right now, but just look up. Mm -hmm. You know, tomorrow's sun is going to let you know that your life's not done. And, right. and mm -hmm. so, and we have to trust God with that. And uh, some guy, I don't know, but he, he took the end of that and did a rap with it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so it's amazing. It, it still lives on. on. Come on. That's right, right, that's right, right. Well, let's talk a little bit about your Performing Arts Academy. Mm -hmm. um, what, what are you teaching there and how are you helping children to uh, horn in on their craft and creativity. We had just started our, our 22nd year. So oh, it's not guess. like it's just going. Mm -hmm. We we started gate, uh, grades K through five and then added a grade each year, went all the way up to high school and graduated, I don't know how many awesome. children. Oh, uh, and, uh, <laughs> um, it is the culture, it, it's the climate. And that, that is the one thing that disturbs me because our homes are being managed by our children mm. and uh, and the fault of that or the brunt work of that is on the shoulder of the grandparents mm. uh, because a whole generation sort of missed the whole thing that we got with our parents being in charge and Ooh. teaching us and and so it's very difficult to see children come to school what's your name uh, 
Bebe. Okay. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. And well, what's your mama's name, mama? What's your daddy oh. name? You know, they don't they don't have the basic mm. skills. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Those then, soft skills. Yeah. Right. When they come out of a car, there's this puff of whatever mm -hmm. coming out with them and some things we can't do you know yeah. as a people as a race I heard you talking about the HBCUs and uh, as a culture as a as a as a people there's some things we have to put the main thing first and our yes. children are very very important and so we try to create a climate at Winans Academy where the children understand they're loved. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, they open up every day affirming themselves. Yes. I'm a student of the Marvin L. Winans Academy. Yeah. I'm created in the image of a super intelligent God. Thusly, Ooh. I'm educable, successful, and strong, uniquely talented. I am disciplined and capable, willing to love, learn, and lead my generation. Mm. And this will I do, so help me God. Oh my God. Yeah. And, uh, yes. That's right. Yeah. That's 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 say that every morning. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that's like my affirmation. Yeah. 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 Well, of course, you do so many other things uh, for other people, uh, but I would like to say MQ, music, ministry, and movies. So of course, oh, I got yeah. that all by myself, <laughs> which you did a great job in. Thank More you. More acting on the horizon for you, sir. I, I'm not an actor. As a matter of fact, when, when Tyler and them called me, I said, Tyler, I'm not an actor. <laughs> and they said, they said, yes, you are. Yeah. You, can, you can do it. And I said, as long as I'm better than BB and Donnie, I'm good. <laughs> And so, uh, you know, I turned down some of the roles. Oh, just sorry, so you pardon know. me. Ah. That doesn't fit me. That doesn't fit me. Oh, right uh, speaking of acting, we were both on I Can Do Battle by Myself. Right, by no. Yes, yes. <laughs> Yes, Trina. Uh, you're in support of a new powerful movie starring Michael B. Jordan and Jamie Foxx yes. called Just Mercy. Mm. Wow. Can you tell us about that? Just went to the museum and the memorial. Uh, this uh, black man is really impressive. He has uh, gotten people off of death row that Ooh. should not have been there. Yeah, his, just, his, his book was Just Mercy, and they just did a book starring uh, Jamie Foxx and Michael uh, B. Jordan. Uh, and uh, it's going to be fabulous because this is what's going on right now. Yes. Yes. This is happening right now. Uh, you're jailed. You don't. You don't have access to proper, uh, uh, proper uh, lawyering, mm -hmm. and uh, because of that. Innocent people are put in jail, and he's trying to make sure that there's equal justice mm -hmm. under the law. Tipping the scale and a little he's, bit. He's, mm -hmm. he's doing a fantastic mm -hmm. job. Good. He's going to be the speaker along with a couple of folk that we're letting sing BB and CC. <laughs> uh, <laughs> you know, they got to start somewhere. Yes. <laughs> Well, congratulations on everything. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. Including the 30th anniversary and of I your church. And I can tell people I'm on the sister circle. That's right. Yeah. 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 To get more information on the festivities and to keep up with all things Pastor Marvin Winans has going on, please make sure you visit perfectingchurch.com. Oh, oh, O-R-G, perfectingchurch.org. Right. There we go, mm. dot org. Thank you so much, Pastor Thank Winans. We appreciate it. We appreciate it.